Greetings to all. I am confident that you are well on this fine day. Today we will discuss a topic that is sure to spark your imagination and leave you pondering the advanced technologies of our past. I scoured various sources to bring you this information that will keep you entertained. You will be blown away by the fascinating facts that I will uncover if you watch this video. In spite of the limitations of my video, I promise a clean and concise missive that will leave a long-lasting impression. Anyway, I have a Telegram channel where I share information that I can't share here. Wait, there's more. I encourage you to subscribe to my backup YouTube channel so you never miss a beat. The link is in the description box below. Trust me, you won't want to miss a single episode of the mind-bending discoveries that I will make. So, fasten your pants and let's get started. The Kamchatka Peninsula, located in Russia's Far East, is a breathtaking display of the raw power of nature. The snow-capped volcanic mountains tower over the land, spilling forth molten fire and ash in a symphony of fiery eruptions. This unique and beautiful landscape is teeming with a diverse array of plant and animal life, making it a true winter wonderland. However, beneath the picturesque surface lies a dark mystery. In one of its smaller valleys, a strange phenomenon has been observed. Animals that venture into this area never return, their bodies never to be seen again. The rumors of animal remains being removed from the valley by unknown individuals only add to the eeriness of the situation. Adding to the mystery is an event that took place in the mid-1970s. Soviet military officials arrived in a helicopter, reportedly drawn to the valley by reports of strange activity. They quickly collected some samples and departed without a word, leaving behind only speculation about what they discovered. To this day, no one knows what was in those samples or what conclusions were drawn. The Kamchatka Peninsula is not just a breathtaking winter wonderland, but also a place where the unknown and unexplained come together to create a captivating and ominous mystery. What do you think? The world's fairs, held throughout history to showcase new technologies and innovations, have always been shrouded in mystery and intrigue. According to the official story, the fairs were an opportunity to build hundreds of impressive structures, many of which were the largest buildings in the world at the time. These buildings, constructed using plaster, were said to be temporary and only meant to last for the duration of the fair. However, the true story is much more fascinating. According to some, the structures were not just temporary, but were meant to be destroyed after the fair's conclusion and destroy them they did, often through mysterious fires that were never fully investigated. The loss of millions of dollars in each instance only adds to the mystery. When one looks at the images of these magnificent structures, it becomes clear that they were not just temporary buildings meant to be thrown away after a short time. Rather, they appear to be a part of a vibrant and thriving culture, a society that has since been erased from history. The world's fairs were not just about showcasing new technologies, but about creating a momentary utopia that would soon be lost to time. The mystery surrounding the fairs and the structures that were built for them continues to captivate and intrigue people to this day. Before I continue the video, please give a like if you'd learned something. And, don't forget to subscribe, and also, click the notification bell too, so you won't miss any update and watch to the end to avoid misunderstanding. Thank you. The history of sculptures, especially those created in the 17th and 18th centuries up until 1750, is a fascinating subject to delve into. However, as with many things in mainstream history, it's always important to question what is being presented as fact. Upon closer inspection, one might find some inconsistencies that raise red flags. Take, for example, the artists behind these magnificent works of art. Some of them were supposedly in their twenties, which seems implausible considering the level of mastery and craftsmanship they displayed. 
This kind of skill takes years of experience and training, so it begs the question, how could someone so young achieve such greatness? One common characteristic of these sculptures is that they were all carved from a single block of marble. However, the process of how this was achieved remains a mystery to this day. Marble stones, by nature, are not uniform. They have veins, grooves, and even different tones within the same piece. Yet, some of these sculptures are so flawless that they make parts of the rock appear transparent. This raises the question, how can a natural stone be so perfect? The thought of finding a marble stone of that size without flaws is also a daunting task. The question of how these sculptures were created is one that has captivated and intrigued experts for centuries. One can't help but imagine that this was a part of ancient alchemy, that the flesh was turned to stone as a means of preserving the deceased. The idea that sculptures could be more than just inanimate objects is an intriguing thought that continues to capture the imagination. The history of ancient Egypt is rich with mystery and intrigue, and one of the most intriguing aspects is the discovery of giant sarcophagi deep underground in tunnels under the Pyramid of Djoser. These sarcophagi, each measuring 2 meters wide and 4 meters long, are made of granite and are of the highest level of craftsmanship. The walls of the sarcophagi are perfectly fitted and polished inside and out, a feat that is considered impossible to replicate even with modern technology. The discovery of these giant sarcophagi raises many questions, including how they were transported to their current location. The aisles of the pyramid are narrow, and it's unlikely that there were enough slaves to drag these hundred-ton sarcophagi into place. The sheer size and weight of the sarcophagi make their transportation a mystery that has yet to be solved. Adding to the mystery is the fact that the sarcophagi are located deep underground in tunnels, further adding to the mystery of their existence and purpose. Were they meant to be hidden away, or were they placed there for a specific reason? The perfectly fitted and polished walls of the sarcophagi suggest that they were of great importance and intended to last for centuries. But why were they placed in such a remote location, and what secrets do they hold? The discovery of these giant sarcophagi adds to the rich tapestry of ancient Egyptian history and raises many questions about the people who created them and their purpose. Whether they were meant to be hidden away or placed there for a specific reason, the giant sarcophagi of the Pyramid of Djoser remain one of the most intriguing and mysterious discoveries in the history of ancient Egypt. What's your take on this video folks? If you're digging it, give it a thumbs up and share it with your peeps. Let's spread the word about what's really going on in this world. A big shout out to all the brilliant minds who have put in the work to uncover these truths. Your contribution to our understanding is invaluable. Don't miss out on the next installment. Hit that subscribe button to stay in the loop. Thanks for hanging in here till the end, I hope you found this info insightful. Till next time, peace out.